Hello again, hello. Just want to give you guys a reminder. Some I got two messages saying that people were not being notified of the video being up. And just a reminder as well that I do three about on average videos a week. Okay, can't do more. Way too busy. Like Tyler's Tarot does not have so much. He's a lucky guy. He gets to play with cards whenever he wants to. That is awesome. And he is awesome. But this girl has way too many and people that need help but if you are not getting the notifications unsubscribe resubscribe hit the bell that sometimes can help so I just wanted to toss that in there and you know I do apologize for not being able to do more than like three sometimes more sometimes less a week but it's crazy here with the uh, devil mentia and my autistic kiddo and the one in college that I'm tutoring with his biology for hopefully medical something. All right. On that note, we're going to timestamp here and start. All right. Aries. Elemental quickies. If you are dealing with another Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Source. Thoughts, feelings, actions. All right. One more. Okay. One more for the sun reversed. And the page of swords reversed. And the nine of wands reversed. Okay, so in this person's thoughts, they feel like you're trying to kind of get back at them. They feel like you might be in their mind that you, they're thinking that you might be a little bit conceited, um, but they do still have feelings for you. So it's like they're thinking about the King of Cups, really? I have feelings for you, but things aren't going my way. Nobody's pounding sunshine out my tush. In their actual feelings, you have the Empress reversed and the Page of Swords. Now, there can be an age difference, a maturity difference, and that's what they might be claiming here but the empress reverse is not they feel like you're not nurturing them and they're acting kind of spoiled about it the page of swords can be somebody that is looking for unfaithfulness they might feel like you have been checking other people out but it's somebody that is resentful spying on you so they feel like they have to spy on you for their action you got judgment and the nine of wands why judgment because they still miss you, they still have feelings for you, and they want the feeling of the Nine of Wands to disappear. Nine of Wands reverse is somebody that's like, I'm feeling misled, but I'm going to drop it. So instead of acting like a tough cookie and I'm all street smart, it's actually almost like lying to yourself. What is the blockage here? Page of Cups reversed, and the Page of Pentacles reversed. If this person was stretching themselves out too thin is somebody that doesn't it's almost like they're a, a nerdy type person that is constantly pouting how much attention do they think that they need you're you're kind of standing your own going that this emotions right now you're kind of backing way off this person could have been immature they could have been screwing around but i feel like you're being a little bit judgmental towards this person because you're kind of pushing them away one more for the king of cups for their thoughts See, look at that. They think the two of you should be together. I feel like there's a little bit of a guilt trip going on here. Because I'm thinking that we belong together, but they're possibly the feeling of not seeing things clearly. What are they missing? What are you missing? It's like, I'm sorry I didn't get the memo that we're supposed to be all lovey-dovey. But I mean, blockage is petty bullshit. The, the page is little itty-bitty energy to begin with, but it's somebody that can be a, a nerdy. They self-esteem issues somebody that's not interested in being judged because they have character flaws or they feel awkward and the page of cups is somebody that's constantly whining about how much attention they get or it's me 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 or it's pouting and their feelings page of swords i'm watching you you're not interested in me or you're not willing to commit or you're you're possibly seeing other people but they in their head the two of you belong together their action is trying to be less defensive or to get you to be less defensive because they want to try to make things work out this is judgment is bringing up a second chance but i'm thinking you're not so much for it one more for how aries sees this person queen of wands reversed now that can be somebody that's an attention hole i'm just going to say that if you see them like this it's Hot-tempered, possibly somebody that is jealous because you've got this 
feeling of lacking boundaries and attention ho and hidden agendas and the feeling of conceited with the sun reversed and the queen of wands also reversed. But you're having a hell of a time. You're thinking with your head and not your heart. And things are back and forth and back and forth and on and off. And it just feels like the two of you can't get the balance that once what was there. And they're sitting there playing pody pody. Also could be children involved. But if you see them as the Queen of Wands reverse, that is somebody that can be vengeful, really pissed off, narrow-minded, and, and, you know, but they feel like the two of you should be together. This person seems like they were more of a pain in the ass than anything. And if you see them as somebody that possibly juggled you or that this connection's been back and forth with the King of Swords, you're not tolerating it. It's kind of, I'm not thinking about the emotions. I'm being very, very cautious. So there's a reason you feel cautious. That person all could have been uh, cheating too. And they could feel like you're spying on them. Feel, feel, because the page of swords was in there. Feeling like you're spying on them because they have not been faithful. I mean, that could be a, a numerous things, but take it how it resonates. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thoughts. Feelings. Action. Well, well, well. Okay, this is somebody that wants to have a connection. They want to kind of settle down, which is actually kind of nice. We like that. So they're willing to make uh, sacrifices to try to make this work. This is somebody that wants to be taken seriously. They want a connection where the norms and values are the same. In their mind, they're thinking that they would be happy with you, that they would be content, but it's all what they think. That's one more. And the four of wands reverse. They don't think that you basically are feeling the same. Ooh, two came out for feelings were taken at. Okay, so the lovers and the three of swords and the page of wands. So this person feels like there's been a disconnection, broken heart, somebody that had been shallow, possibly chose one lover over the other. But in the long run, they're going to possibly come back around. So this is somebody that could feel broken hearted feel that they've caused heartache between the two of you chose somebody else and they were acting immature but let me tell you i would be happier if we weren't if you didn't boot me if, we, if uh, there was more stability in this connection but it's all about what they want what is the blockage here what's the blockage five of wands reverse not knowing where you stand with this person. We take the blockage, we flip it. Five of Wands. Bullshit, petty games. Things all up in knots. It's like these people, look at the skull on their face. Look at that crap. Growly, snarly, like middle fingering each other behind each other's back. Having always sex where it's fuck you, fuck you. But the Knight of Cups, when it's reversed, is somebody that's disappointed in love. That is the heartbreaker. Take your pick. It also can be somebody that comes to conclusions and assumptions about emotions and it turns into an argument. Where then they sit there and they act like a large child and they're pouting about bullshit. It's somebody that has a lack of trust. But the five of wands, it's like, where do we stand? What's going to happen here? I'm defensive. You're defensive. Too many little games all wrapped up in this charade and arguments. This can be somebody that's very quick-tempered. This could have been a third party, but they're... <laughs> Their intentions is to settle down, but be careful with that emperor there because they can be very demanding and it's like it has to be structured according to their plan, according to their norms and values. How do you see this person? You have the Ace of Wands. Bottom of the deck, you have the High Priestess, and then you got the Seven of Wands. So you're kind of going, I don't know, I got to think about this. Got to think about this. Right now, it's like I'm I'm keeping to myself. You could be seeing them kind of reassessing the you know entire thing here and wanting to come back in with you know happy makeup sex. Just saying, but the the seven is sevens are reassessing reassessing situations and is this going to pay off? So if you see them where you're kind of on the fence about them, feeling like they've kind of hidden some of whatever had become between the two of you, but the ace of wands is a go. Because that is a connection that can grow. Are you acting, this person acting like a, they're a mystery, but they're still good looking? What the fuck is that? But there are ideas to challenge you to follow their rules. I, I don't like that one at all, especially with this. It makes me happy to have things. It's like they're non-conforming. And that emperor there can be somebody that's extremely stubborn where things have to be their way. How does this turn out? 
Eight of Swords reversed. Something has to be dropped. There, there can't be two people in, in... They need to sink, sink, think more clearly for themselves, first of all. They're not optimistic. This is somebody that's like, they're avoiding a conversation or they're going to try to beat around the bush about it a little bit too much. Your energy now at the bottom of the deck is saying not fucking happening because you, you feel like there's been arguments that you can't get over and the two of you are not on the same page right now. One for outcome. Take it how it resonates. You could start over with this person or you might just be done. You got the three of coins wanting to come out as well. That's putting work back. I'm going to put that back in the deck. That's putting work into it and things being achieved. But there's still this feeling of things needed to be dropped. And is it because of the fact that they, it's almost like they want you to follow their rules. You have to bend to me. Kiss the ring type bullshit. That can be trying to work things out though. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Thoughts, feelings, action. They're trying to decide what to do. Why the Eight of Cups? They feel like the two of you have basically become non-emotional towards each other or that you've got a major grudge and that you're very, very cautious when it comes to this person. But they basically feel like you and them have walked away from each other. Their actual feelings one more for death. Because that's basically saying it's over. Uh, hit the floor. Should I get it? Yes? No? Yes. So, they're bitter. Five of Swords. This is somebody that's not going to admit how they actually feel, but they feel defeated. It's like they, they feel like you walked away having to be right. You're not taking any chances here either. Your energy at the bottom of the deck is saying, I don't, I don't trust this. I don't feel right about it. Something's off. And that's why I felt the need to get truth for myself. I need to know what is actually going on. But you're walking away and going, not, it's almost like you're tiptoeing out of their life. What's the blockage? The Fool. And the Eight of Pentacles. All work and no play. Makes Jack a dull boy. Eight of Pentacles would be concentrating on things, but who are they concentrating on? Eh. The fool when reversed is somebody that could be emotionally toying with you, possibly toying with more than one toying with more than one person. But the eight of pentacles is like I got this shiny little I got this shiny little coin right here and I'm really into making this work. I'm focused on more than one person, possibly one more for black edge. So that eight would be trying to put work into it and the ten of pentacles. Who's putting the work into it and the other one's playing around? One is serious, one is not. I'm dedicated and devoted to this family, to this, you know, to this establishment of our connection, our happy home and all that, and you're dicking around. The fool reverse can be somebody that takes chances that they absolutely sh should not be taking, but it's impulsive crap, lacks direction. Sometimes you're just damn stupid and ignorant, but they're sitting there waiting. I feel like this person's like... I'm just walking away, but they don't feel the same way. One more for their action with the two of wands. They're, they're trying to decide what is going to make them happy. This is somebody that's got some disappointments and they've got their, mm, they've definitely got their lusty passion, possibly having some regrets about what they did with their do a ditty. But with the six of wands, it's like, I constantly need attention. I'm so charming and I impress everybody. This person's got a little bit of a, I'm so good. I am always going to be confident and I'm always going to be in it to win it. But they're, if they're acting like a child and toying with other people, then who are they messing around with? Are they taking things seriously enough where I, you know, there's a difference between who put more work into this and they know that you basically emotionally have cut them off. That's how they think. They're feeling kind of like this is done and that they've been defeated. Their action, it's like plans, planning on trying to what? Let's get one more for action. One more. Because that's needing to love thyself. But no, they're not offering anything stable. They do not see the big picture. It wouldn't, they don't feel like this would pay off. They're kind of, up, up. they're not making any choices. They're just thinking, what do I want to do? Where do I want to go? Where do I go from here? Needing to love themselves, but not having anything to offer. Also could be financially having issues. But in their thoughts, the two of you are walking away and you're pissed off and being cautious. Mm. All right. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Thoughts? Ooh, they're nervous. Feeling. Actually, oh boy. Why the moon for thoughts? Oh, they think they got one over on you. They're thinking hmm, like you are possibly ignoring them and they're all up in their head about this. This is somebody that's got some anxiety issues. One more for feelings with the five of coin. Yeah, they feel like you're not attainable anymore. But did they feel abandoned? Did they make you feel abandoned because they thought they were going somewhere else? What is a blockage? One for blockage. Nine of coins and the queen of coins. So we take those two and we reverse them. This is somebody that might not have been single and they were in a different connection and they weren't actually available or they are stuck in a marriage that doesn't work or whatever the hell the case may be. But their action, lies and bullshit and deception. They could have hope that you'd possibly hear them out, but they do feel like you're ignoring them. Your thoughts. Devil is what ended this. You feel like they're just toying with you, that it's just lust, that there was a third party here potentially, but not feeling the same way about each other. They're, they're up in their head going, but I still feel there's hope here, but you're ignoring me. For some reason, this person seems to feel like they have definitely either ignored you and now it's caused a lot of anxiety because there's questioning. And right now, what one more for their action because I'm nosy. Nine of swords. Yeah, they're all up in their head about possibly losing out. They basically shot themselves in the foot. Now they're all up in their head. This is somebody that could feel like the best thing to do was just to walk away, ghost you, whatever the hell it was, because they were possibly thinking that they weren't in your league. I mean, the star can be unattainable, unattainable, but there's like there's still hope. Well, what do they have hope for if they've abandoned you? And if you see them as lustful and addictive personality, and that's what caused this connection not to work, and is it because this person wasn't actually single? Or a freeloader, somebody that will use other financially, because that can be somebody that is a little bit of a gold digger, but then nine of coins, it's like, I'm not willing to commit. I'm not going to live up to your standards. I live up to my own standards, and I don't expect you to, to to do this that or the other thing for me and don't expect it in return i'm not responsible for your life and whatever but if you see them as the devil you see them as somebody that's toxic and is never going to grow up like a large child everything's a big game to them and they like to toy with others uh, uh, excessive bullshit overindulging in things they shouldn't do Addictions makes you feel powerless. They like their S and M, but if they feel like they're still outside of the house and yet there's hope, kind of iffy energy here. Very confusing energy for you guys today. Holy schmam! All right, let's go through the majors. Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Aries. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Aries. This guy here, I just feel like there's the, you're going to learn the lesson about this and follow my rules. I just feel like somebody's trying to put you under the microscope and mini, man, you know, just macro, macro manage you. And it's like, you will do this and you will do that. It feels too controlling. Pisces, Gemini, Leo. What the hell is Dad making noise with? Libra and Taurus. All right, my Aries, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Tauruses, elemental quickies. If you're dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right, one more. This person feels like it's going to end up done between the two of you. They're all up in their head. They're very anxious, but they feel like you're keeping something from them. Their feelings, they still have hope. They might be trying to heal, but in the in the long run, they feel like the two of you are done. Why the star? Because they still have the optimism that if they... Like there's past resentments between the two of you and they feel like they've been defeated, but they still have hope for what? What's the blockage here? 
Well, that's heartbreak. And lies and bullshit. We take the blockage, we flip it. So we have somebody that's a heartbreaker that could be moody, that can overreact to things emotionally. It can be somebody that likes to cover, like they put a guilt trip on you because they're full of shit. So that's a little bit of gaslighting going on. But in their thoughts, one more. One more for that moon. They're the ones that has the power to manifest anything they want, and yet they're anxious. This is somebody that's basically going to, their action is walking away. How do you see them? burden pain in the ass cut of the deck you don't know where you stand with this person you got the five of wands it's like i'm not dealing with this i'm not debating this with you anymore i'm tired of it there could have been a choice between two people but it's like there had been a really strong connection and now you feel like they're a burden that's not the best i put all the work into it you did not you're not responsible you're a large fucking child whatever the case is but this is somebody that's i'm feeling guilt trip lies and bullshit bad judgment, bad girl or boy. And they just feel like eventually you're just going to call it done. But things are still kind of in limbo. All right. They're not doing anything. Just walking away. Maybe with a putty face. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the sun, Leo energy as well. Eight of swords. All right. And the seven of swords reverse. Why the eight of swords? Oh, for gripe's sake. One more for the sun. Come here, card. This person sees you as somebody that's really good looking and sexy and all that kind of good shit. Mm -hmm. But in their feelings, it's all about sex. This is somebody that has negative thoughts or they put themselves in a, I can't screw other people because I'm stuck. Okay? In their head, they're trying to hide it's like they trust themselves, but nobody else. So are they trusting that? No, no. This is some. I see clearly that I have to kind of keep to myself and keep my secrets to myself because they don't want you finding something else. Their action? You got somebody basically getting caught and then just trying to go through their normal routine. It's almost like they're trying to prove you wrong. Like, no, that's not true. I didn't do that. That's a black edge. The world. There's that nine of freaking coins. So we take it and we reverse it. This is somebody that doesn't have enough faith in a connection, possibly not feeling like there's any closure, or also can be somebody that takes shortcuts. They don't feel good about themselves. They have lack of self-esteem. They live beyond their means. It's somebody that can turn their nose up at trying to work things out or feeling like the attempt of trying to work things out would be a fail, like it would not work. How do you... How do you feel about this person? You've made up your mind. Oh, look at that. Right underneath of it, you got the Seven of Cups. Um, I might have wishful thinking, but you're all up in your head thinking about if I would do this or if I had done that or they did this or that they did that. There's a lot of confusion that you have with this person and you feel like it's going to continue to be that way. It's like moving forward, you still feel like the the choice has been made and you've just kind of released this and let it go like you didn't see how this person really had been but they've got they've got secrets that they don't let out of the bag and right now it's almost like they're trying to prove you wrong no you didn't really they're lying to themselves so they're basically i do i go to work and i do this and i message you every day it's like they're trying to prove you wrong and their feelings i'm stuck i'm stuck i can't do anything Negative thoughts. I'm, 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 you're pushing me to, to try to behave a certain way. I just feel like the two of you are not meshing. So like the outcome here. All right. That one more. That can be a swift reconciliation. Just saying it is there. It also can be this person's going to be going out, having a good time and partying because the Knight of Wands can be pursuing very fearlessly and trying to be charming so are they going to try to charm you into the sack again so that we can try to work things out it's your energy there you go seven of cups again i don't know what to think sometimes i would like to have this opportunity with this person sometimes i think they're full of shit and i'm just not going to be one of the options that they play with 
like my purpose in life right now is to try to think clearly. So, you know, are you going to forgive this person? Possibly. But it does seem like they're, they're coming in real fast. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. One more. All's well that ends well. One more for the Eight of Wands. This person would be happy to continue to keep seeing you. Their feelings, they're very small, but this person does want to do the right thing. They feel like you could be um, the right person for them. That the two of you, if they were truthful and honest, that this could lead to something long term. This looks damn nice. They want to be content. They want to be happy. They know what they want. And they they want things to move forward. They, they don't mentally see there to be any restraints here. Their feelings, they're small. This feels new, I must say. Um, could be children involved here as well, but it's like this is somebody that's looking for happy news. They want, they want to be heard. They, you know, they want to keep messaging. They definitely, it's a very sexual card. The Eight of Wands. It's like woohoo! There's like the buzz. This person's up on cloud nine about you, and the Page of Cups would say it's like I have a crush. I, I, they're happy, happy. Um, this is kind of a surprise. It took me by surprise that I, you know, fell for you. Do you see them? You see them as somebody that you want to get involved with and you want to get naughty with them. The devil, it's like, I can't stop thinking about you. But this feels like new love. It really does. So if you met somebody new or you got your eye on somebody, it seems like messages just start really quick. Can be somebody online, I will mention that. But this, I feel like you're obsessed with this connection. Try not to push too hard because it's like, it's new it's fresh it's the proposal of a connection not a proposal generally speaking can also be a capricorn but you're you're feeling the same way this person is so if this is you this is that person saying let's take this opportunity to give it a shot i want harmony i mean we're not going to say yes you're getting married but um it could lead to something like that heavy libra energy here but right now it's just baby steps into a new connection getting to know each other they feel like you're somebody that they can trust they feel like there's somebody that has sexual energy and they feel like emotions are being reciprocated so it looks nice but it does look very new Taurus, virgo capricorn also can be renewing and it could have been an apology needed in there all right we got the ace of coins Okay. One more for the ace of coins. I can't find out. This person's not over you. They're trying to. It's like they're getting obsessive about this connection. They're obsessed. They don't want to let go of a long-term connection. They feel like the two of you belong together and that your connection can still grow up in their head, not over you. This is somebody that wants to recover and start over. Can I recover you? Can we try to make things work? One more for the Empress for action. All right. This seems like somebody's trying to avoid, because this came out sideways. We're taking it that way. It's like they're trying to avoid any change between the two of you. There's obviously been a bit of an ending that had happened here. How do you see them? All right. You're waiting for them to be more giving or spend more time with you. What is the actual blockage? What's the actual blockage? They're too much of an ass. This is somebody that's domineering. Ooh, and a little on the bitter side. When we take the, the damage and we flip it, we have somebody that can be a real horse's ass and very judgy. It's bitter and cruel and pushy and has to be their way or the highway and the emperor reversed i can be emotionally physically any kind of abuse because they always think that they're right they have to take the reins and this is somebody that's they're not letting go of the idea of of, of the two of you being together and being the couple i want the stability i'm going to be excessively overly assertive means bossy and pushy and the queen of swords reversed they feel like you're fucking judgy. They feel like, you know, this is this person's basically being or feeling like you're being bitter towards them. And you're hanging there going, I need a break right now. I don't I don't know. Because this is wanting somebody to be more balanced. It just seems like, okay, bottom of the deck, you're saying, I need some time away from you. Go away. I need to not have to deal with you. 
There's still emotions here, though. There is still stability, but you're worried about it. This is your energy coming out. I'm afraid of being in a connection with this person. It's like all up in your head. You're anxious about where this could be going or that this person thinks that they've already got the ring on your finger and that they control everything financially, emotionally. They dictate where you go. I feel possessiveness here. I feel I own you. I feel like you are mine. And they want, don't want to, you know, they don't want to let go of this connection. And at the same time, it's somebody that's got a little bit of control. This, I'm going to make this connection be okay. We're going to be real strong. No, the shit show went down. They're trying to avoid any changes with you. This is somebody that might feel like you're the mama, they're the daddy. Because you do have the emperor. You have a male and a female. Not that there has to be two women, two men. It does not matter. You're the one that nurtures me and it needs to stay that way. So you might have somebody that expects you to sit there and do their fucking laundry. And you're going, when do, we, when do you give me? When do you, you know, when is this supposed to pay off? Because I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. It might be time to stop waiting. All right, let's call it the majors. Some confusing energy today. I just feel like that that last one there was a control freak. And it's time for it. It makes you uncomfortable. It's like, I don't want to just, I can't see a new perspective if you won't change. So I need to release you, let you go. All right, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio. Aries, Libra again, Capricorn, single are looking good, yes, yes, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aquarius again, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer again, all right, my Taurus, hopefully that made sense to somebody, I do like the single part, on we go. Jemmy's Elemental Quickies. Bear with me because it feels like Source is challenging me today. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Death. Alright. One more. Really? One more for the sun. This person's making their own fucking happiness. In their thoughts, they feel like things have changed between the two of you. In their feelings... They feel like you have cast them aside. What is blockage? They want their fucking independence and they're a whiny little shit. Cut of the deck. You're not sure what the hell to do about this. You're extremely guarded. You basically, it's like, I'm street smart. I'm defending my heart. And here, I don't know what the hell I want. You're still thinking about what to do. Making plans, possibly. But not, not trusting this. Looking a different direction, turning your back on this person. But this is the, the blockage we flip. Somebody that acts like a fucking child. Unrealistic. I just want my freedom. I, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to be confident and all by myself. No, you don't want the toothbrush coming to your place. This person's calling it quits because they don't feel, feel uncommitted. How do you see this person? unjustifiably asshole hoping that they get a little bit of karma you're just feeling like it's got to stop you're you're at the end of it possibly some jealousy issues this person could have put you in but you feel like they stabbed you in the back and it's you're trying to let go of it there's still this feeling of wanting to get even or things just not being right there was corruption here it's completely screwed you just feel like it's done and they feel like since i've changed this i'm fucking happier this way Really? Uh, commitment full. Don't like it. They wanted to have their freedom to do other things or pursue other people. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Eight of Cups, Nine of Swords. One more. Judgment. All right, they feel the Nine of Swords. Why? They're trying to set up a new pattern. Okay? They feel that they'd be they'd be less haunted by the loss of you if they kind of just rationalized, kept on the straight and narrow, tried to be more trustworthy. They're thinking you're walking away. One more. Ignoring them. But they still have feelings for you. 
They also keep saying, you're walking away from me. You're walking away from the one that loved you the most. It's almost like I'm feeling a little bit of a guilt trip. What is a blockage? Ooh, and it came flying out this way. Somebody that is irrational, somebody that is a narcissistic tendency, somebody that if they're jealous, they're constant. It's like sometimes the person that's pointing the fingers is actually the one that's guilty. This would be somebody that can manipulate an entire situation to turn everything around. Or there's deception. One more for blockage. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling more like this. It makes it makes you feel like you're not good enough. It's like I thought this was going somewhere, and it was temporary success. It wasn't meant. To, I feel like this is more this way. But this can be somebody that emotionally detaches, and yet they try to keep you around. And then they emotionally detach from you, and then they try to keep you around. It's somebody that's got malice deep down and made you feel like you weren't good, or they were stringing you along, but they want another chance with you. Oh, maybe because the grass wasn't greener on the other sides. If they're thinking basically of walking away from somebody that was caring and loving towards them, how do you how do you feel about this person? How do you feel? You still have feelings for this person, but you're sick of defending yourself. Or this person's been overly sensitive. You feel like they take things wrong. You don't want to be vulnerable anymore. You've got your flight and fight just feeling like you're going to be attacked and it's like i i don't know what to do or not don't don't poke me so you might be defensive but about this connection but there's just like holes here they make you feel like you're not good enough cut of the deck you got the nine of wands trying to defend your territory you shouldn't have to defend your fucking territory trying to move beyond this trying to heal trying to transition into smoother waters and tired of being all up in your head but this just seems to me like it's like okay this connection caused me a lot of made you feel oversensitive made you feel defensive and you got sick of it so you just basically kind of gave up on it and they're not done with you they're going to be bringing this up because they still have feelings oh you walked away from me but i'm not done with you i don't like it all right what do you have for outcome non-committed not learning a lesson you need to liberate yourself from this person because you you can't follow their rules and be happy and look at this this is stagnation and somebody that doesn't meet your expectations or they're a slob or they're hard to commit it can be somebody that's very stepping out yes it can be but very domineering i'm feeling domineering and stagnancy and it's just like they need to be more responsible they need to be more reliable they need to be whatever the hell it is that they're missing and you're tired of the game you're like the juggling bullshit the, the game is over i have to prioritize what's best for myself commitment phobia cancer scorpio pisces ten of wands six of cups person still has feelings for you and their action is a nine of wands they're not doing anything they're tempted to do something but they're just they're just sitting there with distrust and evil thoughts why the ten of wands okay this person's having a hard time trying to figure out there, there wasn't balance between the two of you. They feel like there was financial instabilities where one made more money than the other or that they were overwhelmed or that you didn't treat them like a priority, but they still have feelings for you? What the hell is that? Black edge. Somebody wanted their fucking freedom and put the other on ignore and, and basically, did your friend zone their ass? Because this would be like, um, you know, I'm not dicking around with your foolishness anymore. I'm wise to your crap. I've learned my lessons. I kind of need a break from you. I want my independence. And this can be friend zoning this person. That's the blockage. Somebody didn't needed to learn. Somebody wasn't happy here. Or it was a wish granted, but you ended up having to pay for the wish. It's like, no, I, I scratch your back, you scratch mine, and not with this person. Bottom of the deck, you're still thinking about what to do. One more. 
and you, there's too much confusion. You're not sure what direction to go or what to do. You're not, it's like, you can't have a resolution if things are all up in the air yet. You're feeling kind of like this person. There's a lot of temptation on your side too. You might be checking out other things, but this person, they're trying to hide the fact that they are toxic. I, I just don't like it. See, I'm afraid you're going to find out that I'm not a good person or you can't trust me or there's no faith in it, but they have feelings for you. And this is somebody that's all up in their head going back and forth. I don't know what to do about this. What What's Gemini going to do? What are they going to do? It's almost like they're waiting for you to do something. So they've got blowing hot and cold they think this way and then they lose their footing emotionally where they feel like they're standing sturdy and then they don't so they they feel in their mind you've kind of dropped it saying you're not tolerating any more of the bullshit games and they're having a hard time with it oh well all right taurus virgo capricorn thoughts Feelings came out together. We're taking it. And action. Well, they're not trying to work shit out. This is somebody that their action is putting you in a third party. I don't care. This is somebody that doesn't see. One more. They don't see returning to you. They don't see trying to. They want relief. They they don't want to deal with waiting. They don't want to deal with making any choices. This is somebody that does not want to come back around. They feel like things were not stable. Their feelings, they're starting over, and they got a big heart on about it. But this, their action speaks louder than words. They're, they're not trying at all. They want to be by themselves. They're isolating. It's blockage. Yeah. Way overly assertive to the point of a control freak. We take the blockage, we flip it. Control freak. This can be somebody that uh, takes advantage of their position. Okay? And therefore, you can't trust them because they get judgy about things. And they're into possible third parties and betrayal. But they don't feel like they want to even try to make things work bottom of the deck you're trying to heal from this you're reconciling with yourself underneath of it you feel like they got the best of you you could be getting a little payback here so you might be seeing a little bit of karma but it's like i i feel like you weren't giving you unthankful fucking asshole i gave more to you than you gave to me and now i'm really kind of reviewing it over in my mind and trying to to get myself better where i can release you let go of you so i can be more optimistic and move on beyond you but you're having a hell of a time because this is not having closure yet so is this person still kind of toying with you because for feelings oh they feel all sexy sexy and like they get what they want and they're extroverted and that's all fucking fine and they maybe possibly like to go out and party too much this can be somebody that overindulges in more than one person alcohol because there's cups in here but there's this uh not acting like an adult not at all i don't see me coming back and kissing your ass to try to make things better they're not even trying nothing they're not doing anything to try to make it better between the two of you at all and it feels like you're just trying to move on and heal don't like it aries i mean this two of swords is kind of like a stalemate Nobody, it's like a budge fest. Nobody's going to try to do anything. And they don't see that kissing your ass is going to make things any better. Asshole. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Leo, Libra. And Scorpio with death. Cake for death. All right, my jummies, that's what we have for you. And now we go, crabby pates, bear with me. My energy is still off. Our source is messing with me. Elemental quickies are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay, two came out. Thoughts. Feelings. Feelings. Nothing more than, ooh, an action. Great. One more for the Ace of Swords serious lee okay so this person feels like the passion between the two of you has dwizzled to nothing 
So it's like it's the end of the crushy crushy and they actually know that they have to put more work into it. This is somebody that feels that they still can be successful with you. There can be a breakthrough, but they're having a hard time trying to take on extra responsibility. They might feel like there's there's high expectations here. Their actions, they, they don't know what the hell to do. It's like, do I fight this out? But they're definitely coming your direction. Are you a fucking buzzkill according to this person? That's a blockage. Timing. One more. Yeah, timing. Somebody doesn't feel the same way about this. They feel like the passion's gone. Well, you might say the love's gone too. It's like emotional loss. This is up and down. This does not have to be the end of this connection. How do you see this person? Stingy. Are you trying to get over them? I mean, because that's getting possibly even with this person, but it's like, I am very determined that I am not going to be an option. Bottom of the deck, you don't feel the same way about this person in the past. All you think about are the shitty memories with you and this person, and you're basically going, um, you care about yourself and nobody else, and I have the willpower to make the fucking choice for you if you can't do it. So it's like, I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to... You're taking action where they had not. Could be... Really could be. It's like, I'm getting your payback. Unpaid debts. I'll pay you back. This is somebody that possibly breadcrumbed you, weren't giving enough. And it's like, you were damned if you did and damned if you didn't. So you're making the choice for them. And they're not so happy about it. They don't know where they stand with you, but they're still coming in to talk with you rapidly, argumentatively. Who cares? Take their attention and go elsewhere. They didn't need a good massage or a blowjob. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Thoughts. Come here. Come here. Come here. Feelings. All right. And action. So they're trying to get the courage up. To talk to you about because they they still have feelings here and their their mind they basically feel like you are they can't get over you they just don't know what to do it's like they don't feel like things were stable between the two of you but they still have the feeling that the two of you belong together they have this in their mind i would like to try to make things work one more for feelings they feel like if there was more work put into it, it's kind of like a now what? I feel like I was responsible. I wanted to show cancer that I was reliable and, you know, in charge of everything. And they could have been a little bit too pushy. But this person's like, what's going to happen in the future? What's the blockage? Blockage. All right. Unsure of where things were going to progress could have been a third party doesn't have to be because this can be that it also can be this person's playing things small but that's not committing that's not having it as blind faith in somebody and didn't turn out to be the best idea so it's like i'm taking a bath taking a break taking a nappy treat ben and jerry and i are hanging out because i feel like this person was not planning that things were not going forward that there was the feeling of frustration here or delays. Were they delaying actually putting any commitment into it? Because in their mind, it never was going anywhere. Or the two of you, you know, family was just, the structure was just flat out fucked. And they might feel like, now what? How do you feel about them? How do you feel? How do you feel? All right, you're trying to heal, but you do not want to talk to them right now because you have no faith in them. You are disappointed. You are trying to heal. You might be having a hell of a hard time trying to heal, but it's like you're trying to disconnect because you've got this feeling of despair and you're kind of on the outs with this person. Right now, you're just trying to get your shit together and this person could have abandoned you. You might just feel abandoned, period, and you're trying to heal, trying to get your balance back. But that's not saying that you're going to talk to this person. Well, they're trying to get the courage up to come and talk to you about how they feel. It's somebody that controls their emotions heavily. Are they holding back their love? Possibly. One, one for outcome. 
I don't think you care at all. The outcome is delays, not sacrificing, snip, snip, arts and crafts, letting it go. It's too much to deal with, but this person could be stalling to try to get you out of that mindset of emotional poverty, but you know, they could have screwed around. You got two indications of being a commitment phobe and needing a break from this person because they made you feel left on, but, or, uh, bled on, sorry, blah, 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 blah. but it's like, you didn't expect things to go this direction and they're all up in their head going, now, what do I do? I don't know what to do. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure things out. They know there wasn't structure here, but are they, they, are they taking the blame? Because it, it does look like they're taking the blame, but they're trying to inflate their balls so that they can try to have a serious conversation with you. And you're kind of going, bring it. Because right now, <laughs> you're like, uh, you know, you've gotten me to the point where I'm so fatigued with your shit. I'm just going to tell you like it is. You're not going to take any crap from this person at all. And you're not, you, you just, you're not sure. It's like, I'm not going to be, it's an illusion. You feel like this, this, this is all up in the air, but it's just an illusion. And the icing came off the cake as far as you're concerned. And you're just being stubborn and guarded. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Brum, 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 brum. All right. That's feelings and action. They're not doing shit. They're playing it safe because they feel like everything's up in the air. One more for feelings. Come here. They're being assertive. They think that the two of you can still work things out. You follow my rules. Seriously. Really not. Their thoughts. They're trying to solve the mystery, Scooby-Doo. What is the... They got insecurities that this person's acting jaded. Okay, lack of commitment, again, somebody acting like an idiot. Um, busted with messages, possibly, but see the foundation? Yeah, as, that's not a smiley face here. It's shattered family, it's shattered. It can be children be involved here, too. But it's just like this person got caught with their pants down and possibly was talking to somebody else and trying to make it up. No, it's just a friend, but no, no. Well, how did it make you feel? Like you had character flaws, like you weren't good enough. That's not going to work. How do you see this person? Dude, you're being cautious about them. Bottom of the deck, you're basically going, listen up, traitor. Not dealing with this crap anymore. You frustrate the shit out of me, and I need to... I'm not dealing with your secrets anymore. Not, not dealing with it. It's like, take your happy ass somewhere else. The Knight of Wands can be that they pursue you with the wrong. It's not pursuing with pride. It's pursuing just to say that you're theirs. It's somebody that's vain. It's somebody that's not reliable. And there's mixed signals, narcissistic possibly, tendencies. But you're you're tired of it. It's like, I'm not even going to even worry about this shit anymore. I basically have figured your ass out. Hey. But I, I feel like this person, they're not doing anything yet. It's almost like they're waiting for the dust to settle and you not to be as pissed. Because in their mind, they feel like things can work out between the two of you. But you need to respect their ass. No. I'm going to control the situation and we are going to work through this. Really? I control you. No, you control your bow movement if you're fucking lucky. But th this is somebody that's like, I'm ambitious to find the truth. They think they're fucking Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo does not speak English. Just saying. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Thoughts. Feelings. That boy. This person mentally has just given up. They want their freedom. They're just dropping this. This is somebody that feels like things. They either juggled you and got busted or they feel like your connection's been on and off and that, that it's constantly trying to find the time for you and possibly somebody else. But emotionally, they're moving on. They're taking their fucking baggage and they're starting over. Why the Queen of Wands? Oh, yeah. I mean, they still consider you to be the reliable one, but this is somebody that just is got a... What would they say they're doing? Screwing around. Again, the waiting till things cool down because they might feel like you're extremely pissed. And therefore, 
not feeling very good about yourself. What's blockage? Because I'm nosy. Heartbreak. Moodiness. And suddenly having a revelation that I know what I want now. Oh, so I'm disappointed. I feel a guilt trip coming your way. Be careful. I suddenly am aware what I really want in life. Or this way, it's like, I'm not interested in being romantic. I'm not interested in love. I'm not interested in how good you look. I don't care. Not playing Prince Charming for your ass. How do you see them? One more for how you see them. Okay. You see them as somebody that is always codependent. Continuously codependent. Emotionally disappointing. Because this would be a continuance and always always on the same pattern you know what to expect from this person and they can be somebody that's extremely emotionally codependent but it can be somebody that lays again the guilt trip bullshit somebody that's constantly moody i don't i don't really like their action or their thoughts but their feelings they're they're just trying to can this also can be can we move beyond this i'm not dealing with the hardship right now which means you're taking the baggage and you're just ignoring the fact that it's there you're not leaving it your baggage your fucking suitcase by cancer so that you can start over because if this is somebody that might see you, it's like, I, I know cancer's always going to be there. I know what to expect from them, but I'm playing around. I don't have any respect for them at all. That's somebody that's an attention hole and is inconsiderate about other people's feelings. I don't like that crap. No. And could have been cheating. I hate to say that, but it's there. All right. Majors. Pisces. Cancer. Aries. Look at that player crap. Oh, it was just a friend. I don't think so. Uh-uh, no, no. A lot of stagnancy going on here where you're really having a hard time moving forward without slashing somebody's tires. Taurus, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Leo. Cancer, you got your own energy in there. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Should be death of a bachelor. Cut somebody's nads off, maybe? I mean, you know, uh-uh. Cancers are way too sensitive for shit like that. It makes you have a hard time knowing where you stand with somebody. Too much tension. Fucking intense, right? See the, the tense that these men are trying to put up here? You don't see any women involved here. I'm just saying. Just saying. Just saying. And it does seem like you're trying to accept but having a hard time. It's like, I'm trying to move forward. I'm trying to move on and having a hard time doing so and finding peace because somebody, it feels like somebody's constantly at you, but they lack commitment. All right. Cancers, that's what we have for you, my crabby petties. And on we go. Elemental quickies for Leos. You are dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right. Thoughts, feelings, action. One more for the seven. Okay. Your cards are just flying out here. One more for the page of wands. Feelings. And one more for the nine. All right. So in this person's thoughts, they feel like you've blocked them. They feel like they've been busted. They feel like you're not tolerating any shit anymore or that they were not cautious enough in their feelings. This is somebody that may anticipate holding on to you yet as in a uh, property like uh nox tax this is not tax season you do not fucking own me but this is the feeling of holding on to the no something new one of the what's a blockage more. lack 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 they see they want to, they feel like they can still keep your, you as an option. I don't like this shit. Their action, they're all up in their head, not thinking they're going to be, you know, being able to apologize to you that you will not accept an apology. But when we take the, the luggage this way, oh, you know, I just got to wait for Leo not to be so pissed off and then I'll be able to come back and try and talk to them. Well, if they abandoned you in the first place, because here, you're a fucking buzzkill. Oh, you just, you know, caused so much damage between the two of us that they went a different direction. 
If we take it this way, this is somebody that constantly leaves you fucking waiting out in the cold, abandoned, possibly footing around with somebody else and their feelings. I'm just going to keep you on the back burner by flirting. Uh, no. Your thoughts. Yeah, no, you're not. No, you're not going to do that. You're disappointed by this person. You feel like they're an emotional manipulator and, and you're done. You have change needs to happen. The King of Cups reverse can be somebody that you feel like they emotionally manipulated or they're constantly fucking moody or they never know what they wanted and they didn't give any love. So, for outcome, you need to be assertive when it comes to this connection. It doesn't look like you're given to it anymore. You're fucking burnt out on this shit. And this the Emperor Reverse can be somebody, if they're overly assertive, is pushy and bossy. This is not somebody that is worried about not being forgiven, but they kind of keep you on the back burner. That's no way to treat somebody. You're a fucking buzzkill. Well, I'm sorry, but maybe if you wouldn't have been lying and shot yourself in the foot, you wouldn't be in this position where I don't want to fucking talk to you. Okay. My energy's still a little off. I don't know what the hell is going on. Where's that moon hanging out that's causing issues with me? All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thoughts. Feelings. Action. Why the star for action? Chariot. All right. This person feels like in their mind that they have just kind of released the connection between the two of you and that they're just calling it calling it a day. In their feelings, they feel like this was always going to stay the same, like uh, noncommittal or unbalanced because it's like there's, I want a truce, but there's a budge fest and if we belong in this connection or not. Blockage. Somebody that was fucking conceited and always had to be the center of attention. Doesn't mean there was a third party. What they're doing, they're trying to get over you and trying to be hopeful. But at the same time, there's still this feeling of this isn't sitting well with me. I don't see this ever changing. I'm going to see what you think. But this feels like somebody that was conceited. Constantly clouded vision on having their ego stroked or led you on, led you in the wrong direction. How do you see them? You sorry ass son of a bitch. Keep fucking walking because you you're you're not dealing with this shit anymore. You have the king of swords. I will cut you. You're trying it's like, ow, don't pull my hair. Ow, ow. Had enough of the irritation holding back. So you see them going, not not interested in this shit anymore, turning their back and walking away. And it's like, I I can't deal with your shit anymore. You're constantly walking away, constantly, oh, poor me. But with the King of Swords, you're not tolerating any more crap. It's like if they tried to talk to you, you would basically raise your sword and say, bring it on. I've had enough. But they're trying to heal and trying to get over you. Well, best of luck to them. But in their mind, they're just letting this go. They're like, screw it. I'm not going to be the victim. I'm just moving on. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Queen of Coins, Feelings, Action, all right, Willing to make a change, why the Queen of Pentacles for thoughts, all right. Well, fuck that shit. This person got burnt out on trying to meet your expectations. In their feelings, they feel like they were responsible and reliable, but they they got their way, that they're overly confident. They might feel like you're arrogant, but their actions is someone that is going to continue. They feel like they're getting karma, basically. They're going to continue to treat you like you're less than. It's somebody that's all about hurting somebody else, not knowing right from wrong. They could be waiting for you to, to chill out a little bit. What's the blockage? Five of swords. All right. This person's always 
combative. They don't learn lessons. They never think the other person's right. This is like an ongoing waiting for negative messages from this person and then they bail and walk away because they're always combative, verbally combative, whatever the case may be. This is somebody that can be very, very deceptive as well. How do you see this person? Page of Swords reversed. You know they have a reason to be feeling guilty. This person didn't see the bigger picture as far as you're concerned. You're done. You're letting it. You're just letting it go. And you're street smart to this. You see the weary look on this person's face? I've had enough. So you, you, you're kind of like back against the wall, not tolerating any more crap. I've had enough of this. No more games. I'm street smart to your bullshit. And you're basically saying it's done. It's something that you may not have expected, but I got to let it just happen. Right underneath of that, you, the, it's like you lick to the frosting off the cake. You see this person for face value, but this does not feel like somebody that ever had anything good to say, does not learn lessons. And if you see them as a page of swords reversed, busted, constantly just picking, always trying to dig, 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 like trying to get to know what is on their mind and them being deceptive towards you and then it pisses you off and you're like why are you so fucking childish you don't see the big picture their messages are negative 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 you got too much you know immature energy to begin with it's like they don't know how to talk to people they don't know how to communicate well and they just bail they're burnt out on trying to meet your expectations so they feel like yeah you know i i met your expectations and i was a wealth of love and all this stuff but now they're playing likely outcome i think you're just gonna diss them just say ignore them say it's enough i've learned my fucking lesson very well and as hard as it is you're trying to get over this it's like i'm disappointed but not as disappointed as i had been but i do feel like you're not necessarily done hearing from this person but the Wheel of Fortune, they want there to be a change, but they're not doing it. They would come at you and it's a, they're either waiting for you to not be as pissed off and try to convince you that they're right, but it's going to be in a really controlling and argumentative way. This person seems to like to fight, but for feelings, I feel, I always get what I want and I meet my own expectations. Well, that's great that you feel like you're a wealth of fucking penisville or whatever the hell it is. Thinks their vagina don't stink. I don't care. But they're just burnt out. Sexually lost that nothing. It's it's just like we were fucking roommates. That's what that feels like. Bullshit roommate crap. And you shouldn't be treated like an option either. So the game's over. No more juggling. No more bullshit. No more back and forth. No more Jekyll and Hyde. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person's disappointed emotionally, but are they codependent? Are they acting moody? No, there's that five of cups. Now that can be an apology in trying to work things out with you. And then you got the six of swords. I would like to try to come back and boy, do I have doubts and if you're going to let me. The blockage. This is somebody where you, you know their routine. You know what to expect from them. They're constantly building up the foundation and making it seem like the two of you are working together, but you're stuck in the past. Or they're stuck in the past. One more. And then they cause issues. And they have secrets. We don't like secrets. This person could have a side piece. This could have been a cheater that thought they had other options as well. I will say that, but um, they like to party. They feel like partying. They feel like, mm. how do you see them? Okay, you see them as a manipulative little fucking lying brat that likes to flirt around with other people, whether they were screwing them or not. It's like... They constantly need to have their ego stroked. They're an aggressive person. They're always insecure and therefore unreliable because they're not telling the truth. Could have been one hell of an argument with you and this person because of how they treat other people. It's almost like they would they would flirt right in front of you and it's like, I'm not taking that shit. But 
everything works well and well and then you cause bad fucking memories because you hide shit it's like scooby-doo in the mystery machine is not going to be able to figure out what's going on inside this person's mind but they're doubting you're going to let them come back i would agree i would definitely agree so this person might oh i'm so sorry can you take me back they've definitely got some regrets here but this feels like they had tortured tormented you emotionally could have felt like you were not they weren't giving to this connection they may have felt like you were constantly fucking moody and they always knew what to expect from you but this to me seems like somebody that took their charming cup elsewhere had other options and you know you're basically going frosting licked off cake disappointing and emotional manipulation don't like it not at all all right let's get a cut of the deck for likely outcome you saying fuck this shit giving them the middle finger and not getting along with you are not an asset to class you need to leave and then you have the is that the six or the nine nine of pentacles reversed this is somebody that wanted their cake and eat it too they could have been somebody that was a gold digger or not actually single but the the you just don't know where you stand with this person and you're tired of it it's like, again with the feeling of i'm burnt out I'm taking myself off the roster. I'm not available to you anymore. I'm not playing your games. I'm done playing your games. And I definitely am not dealing with your lack of wanting to be in something long term. They just, I keep my independence. Well, then fucking keep your independence and fight with other people because I'm done. I'm done fighting with you. Enough is enough is enough. All right. Let's call it the majors. Yeah, I don't know what's going on in Tarot Land. There's been a couple of readers I've seen that have... And not myself. Yeah, I feel it. All right. Cancer, Pisces. You lost a loving feeling. Woo, the loving feeling. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Cancer, Aquarius, Leo. Ooh, uh, Aries. Aries, Scorpio, cake or death, and Pisces, Cancer again. All right, Malibus, that's what we have for you today, and on we go. Virgos, bear with me while this crazy, whatever, whatever the moon, wherever, what house it's in, I do not know, but if you were dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, came out sideways, we're taking it that way. Thoughts, feelings, action. Well, that's disappointing. So this person, in their mind, they don't feel like this was going anywhere long term. And then you get the fool. So in their mind, how they're thinking, they feel like you have just toyed with them. Like they didn't see clearly, like this didn't get off the ground. One more for feelings. Yeah. They're trying to be optimistic and not let things get to them, but they might feel like you're ignoring them. And then you got the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups reversed. And the blockage is the Magician. So this person's a fucking manipulator and continues to be that way. It's like, it's just how they are. Three of Pentacles. And so it's like they manipulate and put you in third parties, make you think it's going to work out with you, like they're leaving somebody else type shit. And they don't. They're putting you on block. They feel like, I just want to be by myself. I don't want to be bothered. I'm going to be optimistic. But at the same time, they were toy. I feel like they were emotionally toying with you. But in their mind, they might feel like you were doing it to them. I say not so much. But their actions, Knight of Cups and Knight of Wands reversed. They pursue, but they do not care. They pursue for fun. But they, they're self-serving. They're so vain. They probably think these cards are about them. They're so vain. A lot of vanity here. And their action would be screwing whoever they want and breaking people's hearts. Who the hell wants that shit? How do you see them? One. One for how you see them. Are you optimistic? Do you still have faith? You still feel like there's something here? Like I devoted all my time to your ass and you disappointed me. So are you trying to heal? You feel like you were true blue. And they didn't act like it. They had no indication with their thoughts that they should 
try to even make this long term and you're basically going well that's what i had in mind but you sure the sure the hell did not they also could have screwed around on you but they're you're, basically you're trying to heal heal like get away from me heal like they are a fucking heel yeah this feels like they juggled you got the two of coins here things were wishy-washy well it looks like they wishy-washy somebody else's back or ass whatever the case may be or is gemini libra aquarius eight of swords i'm the victim <laughs> the tower nothing ever goes right for me their actions one more for the eight coin this person right now is consistently thinking negative things, but they can't get you off their mind. One more for feelings. Yeah, they feel like you want nothing. That's five of coins. They feel like you want nothing to do with them. You're ignoring them. So in their mind, they're the victim. Aw, uh, things just don't go well for them. They go backwards. That's a pity. They're getting karma is what's happening. So what's the blockage? and the moon so who were they talking to uh it seems they got all anxious because who found out about who eight of wands they were going for somebody that was a fucking secret like online on their phone whatever wherever they could hide feelings for somebody else emails i don't care bottom of the deck you're saying fuck you i'm walking away from you you deceptive asshole I don't trust you. And basically you're saying, you know, sacrifice what you want, but this person's still thinking about you. They might be trying to hit you up, say, I'm more consistent now. I'm going to behave. And you're going, I'll believe that shit when I see it. And until then, go away. Fuck off. But they were talking, moving things forward with somebody that was a fucking mystery. Oh, but things never turn out for me because I'm the victim. No, you made your bed now you lie in it you caused a shit show all right shake that up cancer scorpio pisces we have the four of wands for thoughts the emperor reversed and the queen of swords okay why the four of wands for thoughts page of cups all right, this person might be feeling like you're not interested in trying to nurture this connection or that you basically have just turned your back on this. And like you walked away in a huff and they feel like there's still, you know, this much of a foundation here. Their action, one more for the Queen of Swords. Feels like they're basically feeling like you are cock blocking them. Because they're, they're, they've come to their assumption that you just see them as the fucking devil. This is somebody that does think about trying to talk to you, possibly an apology. There could be a kids involved in this and want. But it, it, it feels like this person just feels like you, you know, toss them off of their little fucking dictator booth. It's a blockage. Seven of Cups. And the King Cups reversed. Emotional manipulation, emotional disappointment, and oh, look at all the shiny little cups that I get to pick from. Things all up in the air. King of Cups, when it reversed, can be somebody that is emotionally codependent, and they might have gotten sick of you relying on them, and then got confused, started looking at other options. And they might want to try to have the stability, but it looks like you've walked away from this person, and they know that if they tried to confront you, it would go down bad. So how do you see them? How do you see this person? Oh yeah, fuck off, person. You you've just lost any lost any luster. You're burnt out, and you've made your decision. You got the two of swords reversed and the ace of wands reversed. I have lost any emotions, any lust, any passion. I am burnt out on this. I've, you know, you have extinguished the candle that once burned for you. And the two of swords reversed. It's just like I'm dropping this. I have made up my mind. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. I can see. I used to have a friend that used to sing, Lorraine is gone. Have you guys ever done that? Like, uh, wrong lyrics. I don't know what the hell they call that, but it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hierophant. Thoughts, feelings. Well, this person feels like they missed the fucking boat. Come over the Hierophant. Page of Pentacles. This might be somebody that is thinking about talking to you like they feel they're hoping for good news. They're hoping for faith from you. But right now they're feeling like you would not even consider it. Yeah, three of wands. I feel like they're waiting, biding their time, not sure what to do. Because this is like, I'm hopeful that the connection could grow and that maybe separation between the two of us, maybe you'll end up missing me. But they're walking out the door. Star of action. Very guarded like. I don't know what to do. I'm so mentally just all up in my head. My mind's doing 90 miles an hour. Do we feel sorry for them? Reversed, yes. No, we don't. Okay, so what's the blockage? All right. This long term, this together, this wonderful connection was burnt out by somebody that could have been conceited or didn't want you to see them for who they truly were. One more. And you got the King of Wands reversed. How can you miss? How can you miss? This is somebody that could have cheated on you. And oh, the regret. But they're waiting because they're thinking, maybe if I sent Virgo a message and told them that I would be more honest and I still have faith. But boy, their actions are speaking louder than words. I just feel like this person is a conceited attention hoe that... You see the little third party coming right in here in the middle? Looks like a little kid, but in this case, I'm feeling like breaking of the hands. Who tore the two of you apart? It feels like another person. And you're not tolerating any shit. You're basically going, karma, kick them good. Right in the groin, where it counts, because they have secrets. It's like, oh, mystic one who thinks they can hide things from me. Not so much. You had a hard time. That's it. Had a hard time trying to hide things, and I know the truth. So you've been judge and jury and okay with it, too. It does seem like you kind of got your rocks off on this one. I got to be it. I got to be honest because it's like, see, I knew that I'm too good for your ass. I'm too good for your ass. And you're trying, this person might be coming back at you and you're going to tell them. I haven't got other interests. I have other suitors. And I have a lot of doubt when it comes to you. You got the seven of pentacles upright. It's kind of like a now what? It's like, hmm, if you actually came towards me, I think I'd tell you to piss off because I'm taking a break. So you don't want to talk to them. You want them to please go the fuck away because you have doubt. And at least for the time being, tough shit. Now I have options. Ooh, you're getting some payback, aren't ya? Alrighty. Let's call up the majors. You have Leo, Taurus, Capricorn. I desire you no more, my goodness. Aries. Pisces Cancer. Little karma stick. Whack! Slapping somebody. Scorpio. Aquarius. Virgo. But all signs are in there. All right, Virgos, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Libras. Elemental quickies. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. All right. Thoughts. Feelings, action. All right, one more for the Three of Cups. Three of Coins. Okay. What's the black edge? Just so I don't rip somebody's head off. Eh. Okay. Mr. or Ms. Assertive decided that they didn't like to follow the rules, so they fucking walked away. Now in their thoughts, they're like, hey, we can try to work things out. Let's just take our time. That's their thoughts. Their feelings, they feel like the two of you still have a connection, but they also might 
feel like they want their freedom right now. This little page here, this would say they feel intimidated. They, they're looking for information, a little bit on the nervous side, possibly on the jealous side. Their actions, they're not sure what the hell to do because you got Scooby-Doo saying this is a fucking mystery yet. And they've got their cup here. So it's like, is this self-love? But this person, how do you see them? Guarded, not trusting, holding into themselves, like barricading their door and they've got no trust about anything. What's the blockage? One more for blockage. Lies and bullshit. Deception. This is somebody that's very, very cautious. They don't like following the rules. Look at this. The Emperor Reverse. I'm overly assertive. I walk away. I, I, you know, oops, I fell out of my fucking throne. I'm moving on because I am cautious and I don't want to put work into anything. I feel like this person's got a little bit of commitment phobia here because this can be parties and this can be, yes, soulmate, but it can be like, I'm watching you because you have your freedom too and you're out having a good old time here and they don't know what to do, but you see them as somebody that is shutting down emotionally, completely shutting down and their actions, they don't know what the hell to do. They, they have no idea. I think they need to love themselves more and whatever that it's like, they're not honest with you about their feelings and then it puts a damper on the whole shit. Sneaking off, sneaking off, being way overly too cautious, and when they can't, there's no stability here. There's a lack of stability. They hold back. They they keep their emotions to themselves. What's the likely outcome? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, King of Pentacles. And the Fool Reverse. This is not somebody that is ready to act responsible. You got the fool here reversed. It's like, that's just playing house. Playing house. Pretending. Fake it till you make it. That's kind of where they were at. They would still try to do that. So I would expect this person's attention. It does look like you would ha be happy about it. But this person needs to emotionally open their fucking cake hole and share how they feel about things. They're afraid of jumping in. They're afraid of expressing themselves. They need to be able to open their damn mouth instead of going back and forth with their thoughts. I don't feel like it was back and forth with somebody else. I feel like it was back and forth with their thoughts, intentions. I'm not sure. I'm on the fence. Do I commit? Do I not commit? Do I, you know, they weren't sure what the hell they wanted to do. It's somebody that's just lost. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thoughts. feelings and action all right this person misses you they don't feel like the two of you are over they're thinking about doing the right thing they might be thinking about trying to get balance between the two of you also an apology and accepting the consequences that they have coming but their action this is somebody that wants to reach out one more for the six and they're kind of indignant. So what is the blockage? Not changing. One more. Not ch Look at this. Not changing. Afraid of changing. There's a change that needs to happen. When death is reversed, it's like a stuck cycle. This is somebody that cannot get over you. They cannot stop thinking about you. And they're going to come in with guns loaded huffing and puffing because they want things to be fair between the two of you. They're not over you. They're not over you. They're not over you. What do they want? They want to be taken seriously. They want you to talk to them and they want a choice made. They feel like there's, they feel like there's been a stalemate between the two of you. You might've cut them out, but this is somebody that wants to see clearly. They want to be heard. They might feel like you would deny any feelings or that you're holding a grudge, but they want to be heard. They're like, I know you're ticked. How do you see them? Not offering what the hell you were looking for in the first place, and yet you want to take them back. There's the feeling of a major break in this connection, and they can't stop thinking about you. 
doesn't look like you're doing much better with it because this would be open to allowing them to stay on the coach again. But at the same time, how much are you willing to sacrifice to have this person back in your life? Outcome, because I'm nosy. It's a matter of time. Three of Wands would say that there is still a future here, but somebody's got to shit or get off the pot. It could be somebody's... It's almost like one is out waiting the other person. Like, I'm going to wait. No, you wait. But there's a sense of missing. I miss you. Absence, maybe. If I, if I, It's almost like how to get the guy by ignoring them. That That's what this feels like. And I just want you in my life, and I don't like that you have abandoned me, and I... I'm sick of wasting my damn time, but I'm still willing to sacrifice. This would say returning, kissing ass, and there's a wait. So I feel like this is more of a timing. It's not looking for the ships to come in. This In this case, is more of a timing. I'm trying to bide my time so that you miss me the less we are around each other. So anxiously awaiting what they're going to do. They're definitely going to come in and discuss this. Could happen quicker than you think, but they're not over you. They know they have to face the consequences. They might not be in an all fired up hurry to do so yet. And I would say you're kind of having a hard time with this too, because you're not sure if you should shun them or start over. Some of it, because this could be a split 50-50, but this Eight of Swords here is like, you don't see that you have your freedom. You feel like your hands are tied. You feel like you have no choice. You're mentally possibly pay, playing the victim because it's like, I don't, I'm stressed out. I feel like I'm going to be cut out. I don't want to be cut out. I, I want an opportunity here to try to speak my piece. So these are all thoughts of being stuck, but not wanting to move. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, thoughts, nine of swords, feelings, oh boy, and the seven of coins, all right, one more for thoughts, okay, feelings, mm -hmm. This person might surprise you. It does feel like this person, as far as their action, they're going to do something big. If they've been sitting on the fence waiting, they're sick of waiting. This person feels like the two of you still might have a chance, like you misunderstood them. And with their thoughts, this is somebody that is worried all up in their head. Their mind's doing 90 miles an hour. But this person could be doing some thinking drinking because their thoughts are all over the place. This is somebody that cannot heal. They cannot nothing but they might have a tendency to overindulge in alcohol or whatever the case may be but they they want to go for it they want to talk to you they want to see if things can still they're it's like they're trying to be optimistic that if they came to you that this temperance card would be flipped around and there would be balance again that's a blockage All right, well, we don't like that. Okay, so you got the Knight of Cups. This is somebody that you started things up with. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm hoping that didn't knock somebody's fucking eardrum out. Initially, somebody romantic eventually turned into an asshole. Made you feel jealous. Made you feel not good enough. Initially, everything seemed real good. This can be somebody that's their mind is all over the place and they don't think rationally. How do you see them? Look at that. <clears throat> so you feel like things are not going well for you or this person. As far as a connection, you don't see it. This would be like denial. I don't want to talk to you. I need a break, which is what it looks like is happening here, but they still think there's a future. They still think there's optimism to be had, and they might be feeling like you are just not interested, like you completely have lost any lust towards them. This here to me seems like you don't feel like things were going your direction. The Nine of Cups, when it's reversed, can be a wish granted, but you'll regret it. Somebody that can be an addictive personality, codependent, unhappy. So, you know, do you feel like this person's always acting like the victim and being a 
a goddamn child and then they they ghost you or get quiet on you and then if you made a wish and try you're, it's almost like you're trying to manifest this person back but you're doing it the wrong way they're not going to change and that's what you would like to happen i would like you to change i'm getting restless i want to drop the past but this person's actions there's still so much doubt if this is done there's doubt if this person is in emotional crisis. There's definitely something with this person's emotions that aren't quite right. And I feel like they're just kind of waiting, waiting for you to do something. So they don't have to be the one to do it. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. King of Swords. Eight of Cups reversed. Oh, and the lovers. Okay, so their thoughts, they're trying to strategically figure things out about, ooh, biting their tongue and being more honest. Wow. So somebody that still feels the two of you could try again or try, you know, several times maybe, but they would like, they feel like you would take them back. They feel like they would like to come back but are they blocked? Are you not interested in this anymore? Their action is the lovers. One more for the lovers. They're going to try to do something to get your attention. What's the blockage? Okay. Put cards down. So you have somebody here. That is a fucking heartbreaker that puts you in a third party situation that is shallow or full of shit and lies. This is basically, it's like there's major delays in any kind of healing. If this person mentally has cut themselves off and they're thinking just logic, but they're trying to figure out a way to be able to make up for what has happened. It's almost like they, you and them had major bitch fest and now they're kind of contra contradicting how, what they say to your face versus behind your back. They're contradicting what, you know, they're biting their tongue, but I feel like they're talking to other people and they're very, I'm going to detach myself from Libra. Well, if you're full of shit and you're causing a broken heart and you're acting shallow, I can't see that's necessarily going to happen. Your energy at the bottom of the deck. Um, twisted sister, I'm not going to take it. You got your walls up. You're defensive, you're emotionally closed off, you're kind of going, I, I can only take so much of this crap, and you feel like you've learned a lesson. I feel like you're getting, you're going to win. I mean, whatever the case may be, you could also be getting attention from somebody new in your life, because this would be having courage to move on. So it's like, with this person defensive, but finding somebody that you're learning about, are you basically kind of sticking up for yourself saying i'm starting over what is the likely outcome two coins Ooh, you got a tough choice to make but it does seem like you see this person for who they truly are i do feel like you have more than one option here like you started seeing somebody else and all of a sudden romeo or juliet decides they're going to come back and try to get your attention Oh, I'm so confident and you know you're attractive and you belong to me no Libra belongs to nobody, but it just seems like everything came crashing down and now you had to go with your instincts on this back and forth connection or one that you finally saw this. I mean, if this was this way, it'd be like, no more. I'm done with your fucking juggling game. I'm choosing to go a different direction. Don't even fucking talk to me. And up here, this would be everything all up in the air, having other opportunities deciding on one but I mean it is this way and it's like icing off the cake I see you for who you truly are possibly not going to be juggled anymore but this person I would watch them closely because their intentions mentally is to come in and brum, brum, brum. I'm going to be cold and shitty and I'm going to get the last word but I'm watching it's like they're tr mentally being strategic but they're trying to detach but at the same time they would like you back in their life it's it's a contradiction in terms this person's confusing the shit out of me it's basically like if Libra doesn't forgive me then I'm just going to act like I didn't really want them back anyway well I'm sorry but you, you caused a lot of pain here with your lies and bullshit and Libra might have said, snip, snip, you're out, got to go. 
and they feel like you would take them back or that you are just basically not interested in even talking to them. They also might feel like you starting to see somebody new has caused them to be um, not, like you don't see them the same way anymore and you're not even looking. Not interested. Bored with this shit. This back and forth connection. Blah, blah, blah. But it, seem, it seems like you're emotionally pushing this person away and they still want to come back in but they don't want to make it very obvious in case they don't get what they want it just seems like an asshole to me alrighty so we have Gemini Scorpio Sagittarius hopefully I didn't blow your eardrums out guys Pisces Cancer that was quite a bark. Scorpio, my bark is louder than my bite. My bark is louder than my, well, we won't mention. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, you got your own card. Libra, Aries, Aries heavily. Pisces, Cancer. All right, but all signs are in there. Hopefully that resonated with somebody, like I have told a few other signs. It still feels like my energy is off. I don't know where the hell the moon is right now, but it is fucking with me. It's not good to mess with the hair with a hairdresser or a domestic goddess or a tarot reader. None of those people, all in me, want to be screwed with. On we go. Scorpios, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, source. Okay. Thoughts. Okay. Feelings. Action, action, action. Action, action. Okay. Why do we have the King of Cups for thoughts? And the Chariot for feelings. Well, poor me. One more. Action. All right. What's the blockage? Okay, <clears throat> so this person is all up in their head thinking about how hard it is to try to get over you. They feel like this is a pain in the ass. Oh, did they catch feelings? Yes. How they actually feel? They feel like nothing ever works out for them. They're trying to be successful and then they fail. They try to be successful and then they fail. It's like, I want to win. I want, I want to break this fucking pattern between the two of you. They feel like things are never timed correctly or you're you're always just, like you're never on the same page. You're in the same chapter but not on the same page. Their action tells me that they're moving extremely slowly. As far as the blockage, flip. This can be that this person had a lack of foresight and therefore got busted with a roaming eye or where they were leading you on and somebody felt stabbed in the back, namely probably you. One more for blockage. Which we then flip it. One of their freedom. One of their cake and eat it too. Because when we say blockage, we flip it. So this is somebody that's like, hum diddly dee, the single life for me. Okay, so you lack commitment. There again, you lack commitment, you bail too fucking easily, and you lead people on for your own fun. It's like they get a fucking kick out of this shit. How do you see them? Oh. Busted. They're like, I'm not dealing with your fucking manipulation and bullshit and games anymore. I know you're a goddamn player, and I'm not dealing with it. You think you, think you hid somebody else? You did not. You did not hide this person. You see them as an arrogant prick. You're just like, your deception, I'm done with it. I am done with this. You're a goddamn player. You're trying to heal. Bottom of the deck. I'm healing. I'm doing things one step at a time. And yes, I'm still all up in my head about you, but I have to heal. So I just feel like they chose somebody else over you. There's too many trust issues, so they're moving very, very slowly. They might also have gone back to somebody else because of finances, or they moved back in with mama, whatever the case may be, but you do not trust this person at all. 
But they caught feelings. What a fucking burden is that? That's tough shit. Because this is looking like third-party crap, and they thought that they could just, whatever I want, I can do whatever I want. And then they just stab me in the fucking back. This did not turn out the way that they had wanted it to. They thought that this was going to be a fucking wrong. They caught feelings for you. And now they feel like everything's just completely out of control. And they, they can't stop how they feel. And it's too late. They screwed it up. I would agree with them. I mean, here you got, I'm healing from the manipulator. The manipulation was in there too. Somebody that acts illogically is full of shit. Very good at gaslighting. Don't like this person. No. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, thoughts, feelings, one more, action we do not like. Okay. This person might think you're not interested in them, feelings. I mean, they desire the shit out of you. It's almost like they're obsessed thinking about you. Oh, I feel like I would be so happy if Scorpio would just give me the time of day. I feel like they abuse power and they like to party. Somebody that doesn't like to follow the rules, they're a fucking rule breaker. What is the blockage? There's a lack of hope and faith and they leave you restless. And it looks like you had to, you know, if you had started up with this person, first of all, it doesn't even look like you're fucking interested because this looks like somebody that likes to party, absentee parent, uh, somebody that's a deadbeat dad or mom, and it's all about what what pounds sunshine up their ass. They're toxic. They're addicted to fun sexual fantasies, but this is basically looking no faith in this. <sighs> I'm not coming out of isolation for you. Um, I want my freedom. I mean, when it comes to this person, I just don't think that you're interested because this is them going, if I flirt, I'm going to end up disappointed. Well, they emotionally detach themselves from anything. They stay in the same fucking pattern and their feelings. That's not feelings. I have so much fun being a fucking naughty person. No, 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 no. This is a rule breaker. And they like to drink. Just saying. Party, party. Party's over there, chump. All right. Shake that off. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Shake it. Shake it off. All right. Thoughts, feelings, action. Ooh, snap. Don't you dare, person. In this person's mind. They have not been successful with you or trying to change your mind, and it did not work. They're still going to try. I would be very cautious because what are they going to do? They're going to use your emotions as the reason to be able to push your buttons. They feel like everything's all up in the air. They might feel like they've got uh, other people that they're interested in but they don't know where they stand with you you could have told them the fucking games are over and they're feeling like oh come on i'll apologize their thoughts they're like done it's a waste of time you don't finish what you start what's the actual blockage i don't want to finish what i start all right so this is somebody that doesn't hold on to anything worth value and they're full of shit dishonest maybe getting a little bit of negative karma but they don't hold on to it. it's like they don't know how to put people ahead of possessions this is somebody that just goes it's not worth it fuck it i give up i don't care never cared in the first place like they're emotionally just closed off and they just drop everything. I'm not going to have anything in my way. So I just go around it. They don't want to deal. They aren't grounded. They're not used to. What they're used to is unhealthy relations. And all of a sudden they meet somebody that actually isn't unhealthy. And they don't know what the hell to do. But this person can be a manipulator emotionally. That's manipulating you emotionally that is their plan coming in doing a little ass kissing we can start over but they do have their doubts 
that you would even talk to them. But you never finish what you start. No, you never finish what you start. I think you've lost that loving feeling. It's like a major fucking buzzkill as far as you're concerned. You're like, go the fuck away. Go away. I'm trying to heal. Down, doggy. Down. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Thoughts. Ooh. They're nervous. Feelings. They feel they've caused trust issues and their plan is to try to be more traditional. Wasn't that special? One more for the page. They got some regrets. So, would you forgive me? They're in their head. They feel very, very guarded. But they might be nervous that you're collecting data on their ass. Because they're, they just, there's a trust issue here. One more for the lovers reversed. That's a lack of commitment too. They hold back because of the conflict that they have caused. This is somebody that wants to come back around and say, I have the courage to make this work, but know that they have made you not trust. What's the blockage? You don't trust that. Blockage is not good. Nope, 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 nope. We take the blockage, we flip it. So this is somebody that, you know, they kind of go back and forth. They abandon you, and then they think they can come back. It's a connection that's been on and off, trying to figure out what I want. Sometimes I want to be with you, and sometimes I fucking don't. Ick. Your energy, ooh, went flying. And it made a cut, so we're taking it. So with the Ace of Pentacles reversed here, you feel like this person does not see the big picture, and you're 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 taking the high ground. You're like, I'm not tolerating this. Twisted sister, I think I told that somebody else. I'm not gonna take it. It's like I am maintaining control over my emotions. I don't care how much you fucking push at me. See the words up here. Standing your ground, playing whack-a-mole. <laughs> Smacking them in the head. They need a throat punch. You don't feel like this is ever getting off the ground. You don't feel like they ever offered you anything stable. And you think they're huffy puffy. Huffy puffy, huffy puffy. All talk. And then they come in and they're me, 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 bitch, 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 bitch. And then you just feel like you got you like your back's up against the wall. Be careful with that one. One more for their action. Yeah, they're going to try and start over. Come on, we can start over. I'm not over you, but I'm not changing. This is somebody that's in the same pattern. They have this thing where they go, um, you know, I'm not playing this game with you anymore. We're not getting along or there's differences financially. And then they cause this, um, I disappear. I ghost you. I'm fucking history. I'm on somebody else's couch because I don't know what I want. Well, that's kind of tough shit. But will you, will you please forgive me? They're really unsure if you are going to even give them the time of day. This person's got an attitude. Caused a trust issue. They're conflicted about who they want to screw. I mean, no, 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 no. What's the likely outcome? Likely outcome. Major stalemate. It's looking like you're going to do what is best for yourself. But this person, they're going to wait. Because they're planning on trying to push the tower back up. They're like, no, 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 this isn't done. I'm not going to have, no. They want to keep you around. And you feel like you've learned a lesson. It's like, really? I mean, I'll talk to you if I absolutely have to. But I'm kind of turning my back on your crap. Not having it. And the likely outcome is judging for what is best for yourself. Could be snap judgments too, but there's a major going, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not deciding anything. You can sit till hell freezes over. I don't see forgiving you. And they're going, but, 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 and it's like, no, no buts, no plumber crack. No, thank you. All right. So we have Gemini, Leo, Taurus. Libra, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aquarius, heavily, Aries, Capricorn, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, heavily, Aries, Yeesh, Pisces, Cancer, 
Somebody caught feelings that didn't want to. Don't like that. Scorpios don't tolerate that shit at all. It's like, oh, I'm sorry. Were you trying not to get emotionally involved? Ick. All right, Scorpios, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Sagittarius, elemental cookies. If you're dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. Another Sag. Thoughts. Feelings. Action. Oh, this person's nervous. I'm off for the Six of Cups. They feel like they have fucked up. That's how they feel. They're nervous that they are not going to meet your expectations or they have com you've completely lost faith in this person and their actions. This person wants to try to get on the same page. However, their secrets have come out. Action. I fucked up really. Can we still get on the same page? They know they have messed up. This is somebody that can't stop thinking about you and they feel like you're ignoring them. Like, don't talk to me. They're nervous. Well, they blew it. What's the blockage? Clarify. Devil. Well, it's pretty obvious. One more. Uh, not good. They, they lost that loving feeling and thought they could go play with somebody else. It's somebody that's obsessed with having choices that leads to mistrust. The devil, ugh, they're toxic. They like to toy with others emotionally. They're never fucking satisfied. It's like they always have to have one on the back burner. How do you see this person? All right. You got the magician. One more. The magician reversed. Clarify. You feel like this person is constantly continuing to be manipulative. You don't have any faith in them at all. You feel like they're always fucking up. Consistently. You know what to expect from this person because they always do this. They're always manipulating. I don't feel like there's... They know they've missed the fucking boat. But mm, let's get one for outcome. Does this per person reach out reversed? No. They do. They do reach out, but you get the Four of Cups. It's like, uh, you know what? It's a daylight and a dollar short. You missed the boat. The boat has sunk. You screwed yourself of any chances. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thoughts. Ooh. Feelings. One more. Action. That one's reversed. Good boy. Again, with the feeling of I fucked up. Okay. This person feels like they have made a bad choice. Three of Cups reversed. They feel like they um, put too many people in the mix here, first of all. In their mind, they know that they that you don't feel the same way about them at all. That you are pissed. That you're the mega bitch. That you would deny any feelings. That you're holding a grudge. And their action, that one's reversed. Seriously? Five of, oh, but they might try. You got the five of cups reversed. This person's either going to say, screw it, because I like my lifestyle and I like to screw whoever the hell I want. I'm a player through and through. I'm almost fucking proud of it. I'm vain. I like to have a la carte. New flavor of the month is always good. But the five of cups here, this person's knowing that they have messed up. There are regrets, though. Is this person going to come in and apologize? Because I wouldn't say it's heartfelt. They come, they go, they're in, they're out. They like to be controlling. How do you see this person? How do you see them? All right. You see them as possibly having one thing, possibly going back to somebody that they have children with because you got the Knight of Cups reversed and the Empress. It's like, you're disappointing. You're a fucking heartbreaker. There could have been a pregnancy involved in here, but it does seem like you feel like they kind of come in and out of other people's lives. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaker. Somebody that thinks that they can do whatever they want to people and get away with it. It's that feeling of gets around, gets bored easily, but they know what to expect from you. So, I mean, if you're seeing them as the empress, it's like, um, I tried to make this nurture and grow, and you keep fucking up. You keep fucking up. Ay, ay, ay. Not interested in that. 
yeah, your energy at the bottom of the deck. I'm holding back. I'm I'm staying to myself. I'm not gonna not gonna keep my arms to my chest. I'm just not open to this anymore. Done. I am so done. You've made up your mind and you're sticking to it. This this is not a stalemate anymore. You have made up your mind that you didn't want to see this person anymore and you're just trying to move on. And I do feel like this person is not done trying. It's just like they're unethical, but they try to come back just to, you know, cause issues. Like they like the jealousy. They like to be the, the, the big player. They don't have feelings or they need to have their ego stroked and you're not doing it anymore. All right. Let's blow that up. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Thoughts. Feelings. Oof. And action. We have the Six of Swords. It kind of did a dance. I'm going to take it how I think it fell out, but we'll call it a reversal. One more for thoughts. This person wants to take accountability for their actions they still have the thought of the two of you working out this is somebody with the emperor reverse they feel like kind of like uh you're gonna walk away from them and they do not have any idea where they stand with you this is somebody that knows that there's been arguments and games and they they can't they continually do more games they walk away they try to act assertive but they're kind of a candy ass one more for feelings. And they feel like that you're just going to give up on them. They're kind of feeling sorry for themselves here. Their actions. One more. Because that was kind of queen of wands reversed. I, I just don't like that. They're, they're coming back just for fucking attention. It's almost like. I am just waiting for you to cool down before I come back because I know you're ticked. Blockage. Clarify. All right. You basically have decided it's enough of this shit. You're like, okay, candy ass. You don't know what the hell you want. I give up. I, I don't care anymore. I'm moving forward. I'm doing what's best for myself. This is possibly a timing thing too for you where you're trying to move forward and have changes, but this person keeps coming back like a bad fucking penny. They just keep popping up, and you're like, I, I really don't care anymore. I give up. I'm not going to, you know, continue with this bullshit cycle. You're even trying to heal and not even think about this so much, but it seems like they like to try to come in and just rub it in, and you're going, it's not going to work anymore. I know your, your usual bullshit, your goddamn candy ass, you weren't there when I needed you and made you feel jealous. This person just like toys with her. And I feel like you're calling their, their games enough. You're like, I'm done playing your games. But they feel like, well, this is somebody that can be feeling like they're verbally going to give it to you. Even though that you have basically said enough. But they still have thoughts of trying to make the connection right with you. Not the Emperor reversed. No. There is no stability there. Alright. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Some good juju. Ace of Swords reversed. Five of Swords upright. And Five of Coins. So this person's basically lying to themselves. One more for thoughts. Yeah, they're lying to themselves. They know, again, with the feeling of having screwed up. They could have put you in a third party and lied to you, and now they're just dwelling on it. Their feelings, five of swords. They're bitter. They're pissy. They're just saying, fuck this. Then you got the eight of wands. They're moving forward. Got somebody else on the leash already. So what are they doing? They're getting attention from other people and ignoring you. Clarify the blockage. They gave up. I feel like they got busted. It was somebody that wasn't quite done with the connection. They weren't ready to completely say, hey, I found somebody else in my life. Then not that they would actually admit to it, but they got busted. Seven of Swords, when it's reversed, it's like somebody that needs to come clean with themselves. And I feel like they're lying to themselves because they're not taking accountability for their actions. And they're moving forward. They're saying, fuck this shit. I'm not talking to you. 
I'm staying on the outside. They, they're being quiet. They abandon this connection and they're getting attention from other people. And they're feeling really fucking good. How do you see this person? How do you see them? Emotionally fucking disappointing. Not meeting your expectations. Okay, bottom of the deck, you got strength. So I feel like you're just saying enough of this. I've got the courage to move on without your ass anyway. I'm not going to be juggled. You think you're fucking game? No, I'm done with your bullshit games. They don't see the big picture. They don't know how to commit. They never met your expectations. And emotionally, they could have been a codependent person where they were constantly looking for somebody's attention. It's like you had it. You did have it. You lost my attention because you you don't try to commit. You're fucking lazy. Eey. Sorry, guys. You got some crappy energy today. Holy shit. All right. So Leo popped up on the bottom of the deck. We're going to mention that. Okay. Cancer. Libra, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Libra, Taurus. Gemini, Capricorn. Cancer and Pisces. All right, Saggies, not the best day for you guys here. Now, run away and hide for the next week. I'm going to go. Capulets, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, thoughts, that was quick, feelings, and action, action, the plan to take. Okay, one more for temperance, for thoughts, feelings. Okay, this person's afraid that things are over. They don't want to change. They're just kind of giving up. They're afraid of things being done, but at the same time, they don't want the burden of it. In their mind, this is somebody that was not... They're, they're uh, completely a commitment-phobic person, and they feel like, in their mind, you are just trying to heal and that you have no faith in them. One more for their action. Yeah, they're just playing around. They're playing the field. They're fucking other people. Clarify the blockage. Well, one had doubt and not getting what you needed. Disappointments. Sitting there lingering, holding on. Not happy with the fucking results. Cause too much doubt. Doesn't finish what they start. How do you see them? How do you see them? Okay. You see them as a heartbreaker, somebody that you do not want to hear from again. It's like, you are a fucking buzzkill. I am goddamn hurt. I am lonely because of you, and you're having a hard time releasing this energy. It's like, you broke my heart. Could have been a third party. Doesn't have to be, but boy, it does look like they emotionally like to toy with people. And it's all about what strokes their ego. Fun. Physical activity. Calisthenics. Naked twister. They're all about screwing, but they cause so much doubt. This was somebody that was just disappointing. No results, not moving forward, stuck, stagnation, sucky shit. And they know they have basically screwed themselves, but it does look like you've turned your back on this and you're choosing a different route, possibly with somebody new. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So your inner child might be playing a little bit of a crush. All right, good for you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thoughts, feelings, and action. All right, this might be somebody that wants to confess their emotions. One more for justice, for thoughts. This person feels like you've made up your mind and they've been exposed, but they want to do the right thing. They'll take the consequences, but they just feel like, <sighs> I'm going to get it. I have to be honest now. This is somebody that wants to confess. They want to tell the truth, but they feel defensive. And I'd say that this person 
Oh, did, are they getting bad news? So they feel they aren't happy. This is a player. The blockage is juggling and you're not playing their games anymore. And you've, you, it's almost like they have a consistent pattern that you're used to. It's like they make bad choices. So you're going, I'm dropping your ass this time. Nice. You're trying to emotionally get over this shit. And you're like, this person is a candy ass. They cannot control themselves. And you're taking your boat elsewhere. Or you pack their shit, threw it outside the fucking front door and said, pack it up, sail on. Because I'm going to do what the fuck is best for me. So you're keeping yourself independent. But they're they're wanting to come clean with you. They want to confess. And I don't think you, quite frankly, you're like, I already know. You're like, yeah, but you're being judgy. Tough shit. They kind of kind of did themselves in. All right. Shake it up. Cancer. Scorpio. Pisces. Four of swords. Feelings. All right. This person, in their mind, they think that they've got to make up their mind. This is somebody that's like they've come to the... They made poor, poor choices and they still have feelings for you. They want the security back. This is somebody that wants to make a new offer. In their mind, you don't want to talk to them and then you are going to stay closed off. What's the blockage? All right, we're taking all three that popped out. So we take the blockage, we flip it. I'm not dealing with your fucking manipulation anymore. I'm done with it. There's been too many setbacks. There's been too many times that shit just went down and there was too much disorder. There was too much upheaval. And there's no there's no structure to this person. You feel like they're an emotional manipulator. They're cold as hell. And you're not. You're, you're just like, I'm done playing your games. I'm, I'm not playing anymore. Play with yourself. Do the happy hand dance. You're taking a breather. I'm taking myself off the roster. Do whatever the hell you want. Likely outcome. All right. I feel like you're trying to heal because this person lacks direction. This would be somebody that... You feel like you lost the battle and you need to heal. You feel like this person possibly forced the issue where you finally had to say please fucking leave me alone but they want to start over they want to start again they want they still have feelings for you well you caused a lot of confusion so i'm glad you sobered up and see what you could have had but not me anymore good you do taurus virgo and capricorn thoughts i miss you feelings I'm so used to getting hurt. All right. This person's wishing and missing you. However, emotionally, they're just abandoning this connection. They give up. They're too guarded right now. They're not they're not reaching out. They're not nothing. This is somebody that knows that they have let you down, so they could be jealous. But they're not happy. Depression issues. Ugh. Well, this person, you're basically saying you're an emotional disappointment. I cannot trust you. You screw around. Either one of these cards, reverse, can be somebody that puts you in a third party. But there also could be paternity issues, father issues. And with the queen here, emotionally immature. It's somebody that has disappointed. They could have felt like you were clingy and that made you feel jealous. And then there's that feeling of possessive and then getting bitter because they're manipulating and they stomp off in a big huff. But this person's hoping that you might miss them too. There's regret. It's like, I, well, you got what you wanted. Wish granted. You wanted to walk away, you did. It's a likely outcome. 
there there's just no no courage it's it's you basically telling this person to piss off you're irritating the shit out of me i'm moving forward i need to do something that's better for me i'm at a fork in the road and you're over here i'm going that way a sharp left this is somebody that they don't have any courage they have no self-assurance they have no inner strength they've got nothing they feel inadequate or made you feel inadequate. And so you're just saying, I'm going forward, not backwards. I'm choosing to do what's best for me. And I'm taking a different fucking path. Ugh. Nobody's getting a good reading today. I think maybe there's one. My energy's still off. Leo. Aries. Leo. Cancer. Aquarius. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Taurus, and Sagittarius. All right, my Capulets, I'm telling everybody, stay in for a week and avoid. I don't know, there's like, the moon's got to be in the seventh house of hell or something because the energies have just been, <clears throat> on we go. Aquarius's element of cookies. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, this kind of came out sideways. We're taking it that way. Thoughts. Feelings. Action. Oh boy. One more for thoughts. Why the two of wands? Half cocked. Ooh. No. One more for feelings. This person is. Oh boy. One more for action before I rip this person's head off. This person thinks that they are going to, like, they hold all the chips, so they're going to basically seduce you and get a piece of your ass. This is somebody that's not thinking about committing, not thinking about it at all. This is somebody that has more than one option, and their feelings, they're not changing, and they're restless. Goody, goody. It's a blockage. Seriously. So the blockage is they're a big fucking child that likes to have their way, but they don't offer any love. They're not looking for love. They're not looking for a beginning. They're not nothing. And it makes you nervous that this person basically is looking to play and not stay. Clarify the king of wands reversed. Yeah, they're going to end up fucking ghosting your ass. This is somebody that also might be on the outside as in on outs with their actual committed person and you're just for play but that they're trying to talk you into it this is somebody that likes drama it's like an addictive drug i'm gonna get you to give it up it's almost like a fucking game to them how do you see them you've had your doubts anyway and uh you're a little bit on the pissed off side irritated holding back and uh emotionally disappointed this person might pout at you to try to get their way, I will definitely say, but you've got doubts here. You irritate me, person that doesn't really step up to the plate and offer anything. I don't feel like this is going anywhere. And the page of cups reverse, it's like, you're making me fucking pout. I'm disappointed. Don't want to deal with it. This person also could be trying to use a guilt trip to get their way. But this is somebody that toys with others. They're stepping out of their connection so that they can play, 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 play. Playing with you. Addiction to, I have the, it's a, I hold all the cards and I'm going to play you like a jukebox, baby. No, you're not. Outcome. They're going to bail. They're going to bail. So they're playing and not staying. And it's going to have you huffing and puffing, pissed off. And you still got the page of swords at the bottom of the deck. It's like, I did my investigation. I know that you're a fucking bullshit ass. Bullshit artist. Like, they're all talk and no action. Or they want the action and then not to talk. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thoughts. Feelings. Feelings. Okay, one more for the eight of swords. For thoughts. Oh. This person thinks they have to drop their side hole. Isn't that terrible? How they feel, they've made up their mind that they're trying to get the faith back from you. This is somebody that's like, 
I'm trying to, it's like they come back down to earth after having played footy footy with somebody else. The high priestess is red fucking flags. They need to drop another person, a hot toddy on the side. And their action would be the four of wands. One more. They're going to get your attention. They're like, hey, I'm going to stroke your ego. I'm going to make you feel really good so that you possibly take me back. Clarify the blockage. I'm leading you on. Delays and manipulation because we take these two and we flip them. That's completely going the wrong direction. That's somebody that has potential third party influence, which could be not only a person, could be work related, but this is somebody that if you try to manifest them back, that's what's going to happen. But this is somebody that still is a manipulator. It's like master manipulator. And they don't try to do anything to change the fact that they like to play games. Bottom of the deck, you are slowly losing interest anyway. And you're having a hard time. It's like the burden's all on you. It's like here you are, the one putting all the work into it. And they, you know, you couldn't get them to, to act like an adult. You never knew what to expect from them. It's a major disappointment. And they're like, oh, damn. If I want Aquarius back, I have to drop all my bullshit and games and red flags because otherwise they're not going to trust me. So somebody that's almost like they're making up excuses in their head. They're thinking about how to talk you out of ignoring them or how to talk you out of not regretting trying to work things out. But they're definitely trying to free themselves of the uh the problems that they've put on themselves yeah you cause the red flags or chump okay hold up cancer scorpio pisces all right thoughts feelings Ooh, action so here they come to save the day they're going to make a new offer they feel like you're going to deny them and that there's going to be an argument. This person might have a hard time knowing where they stand with you. And they, it's almost like they want to hash this out and they're not going to end up getting their way. Like you've cut them out. One more for action with the two of cups. This basically would say to me that this person's going to end up by themselves, even though they still have feelings for you, but you're not going to give them the time of day. What is the blockage? You gave up on this. You didn't want to be vulnerable to this person anymore. That could have been a third party or somebody that overindulges in drinking. But with the Seven of Wands, it's like I've, I'm, I'm not going to be... I've been vulnerable with you and I opened up and you completely walked all over my boundaries and I'm, I feel defeated. I give up. I lost the battle. I can't win with you. You can't seem to keep your do what diddy in the pants or there's constant feelings of un, un, inequality between the two of you, but it does feel like there could have been somebody else involved here. They want to have you back, but at the same time, my action is trying to kiss your ass and make things work between the two of us, and yet I want my independence. Kind of like if they don't get their way with you and come in with this an apology and we can start over and this will all be great, and they feel conflicted about the truth, they're lying to themselves. Yucky, yucky. How do you see this person? toying with you emotionally bottom of the deck you're holding back you're like I know how good I am I know my value and I'm holding on to all my chips I'm not sharing with you I'm not opening up to you anymore and you you're afraid of I mean you're all up in your head about this person it's like I'm afraid to open up to you so I don't feel like you're giving that person any chance to try to lie manipulate I feel like you're trying to avoid them all right, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Page of Wands. I'm so curious. Are you still hurt? All right. This person has a hard time not thinking about you, but they did juggle you. 
sorry, that's third party. They feel like they have fucked up royally. They want another chance. They want you to change your mind and they are nervous. Clerk by the blockage. Okay, this person could have been in another connection or there, there was no nurturing this. It's like this would be nurturing a fruitless fucking tree. The Ten of Pentacles, when it's reversed, is like there's a lack of foundation. Somebody that was unstable. Somebody that enjoys drama. Unhappy in the connection. So who put the work into it? Now, this also can be somebody that has, like, their mother or uh, mother-in-law or whatever the hell the case may be, tries to make decisions for them in their connection with another person, and it's like they get in the way. How do you see them? How do you see them? You're not over them. You're having a hard time, but you're pissed. You've definitely come to the conclusion that, you know, how you feel. You get a chip on your shoulder. You're irritated by it. You feel like this person was just kind of like a, a drive-by and this was a rapid change and you've not gotten over it, but you feel like you've suddenly gotten some truth, but you're still feeling kind of like, I got to shake these swords out of me. It could be some karma coming your way. Kind of like consequences to this person's actions. Doesn't mean that this person has mama drama or baby mama drama. There's definitely something that somebody is getting in the way, whether it's financially or there's kids involved and they have to pay child support and, and they're throwing a little hissy fit. It's something that's got you going, seriously, enough already. Enough. That's like, I, I can't take any more swords up my ass. I'm not a puppet. You are not, not going to know and no more. And they want you to change your mind. They're like, the blindfold's off. Now I'm really screwed. So they're nervous. But they cause heartache can it have been a mother that got in the way of something yes can it be a baby mama baby dad yes but it's like somebody that thought they were nurturing and it was like that there had been a breakup and now they're stuck in the past curious about one but stuck with the other curious about one but stuck with the other no i i dwell on the past but i'm curious do you too no, I don't think Aquarius necessarily wants to dwell on this shit anymore. They feel nervous. We don't care if they feel nervous. Let them feel nervous. I'll talk no action. All right, so we have Libra Taurus. Aries. Pisces Cancer. Aquarius, Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. Oy vey. I think everybody should just run away or hide for the next week and not watch tarot. Because the energies just seem to be so screwed up. Alright, so what we have for you on we go. Pisces, are you bees? Alright, jumping in. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Thoughts, Nine of Swords, Feelings, hey Scooby-Doo, ooh, action, okay, why the Nine of Swords, Thoughts, and Feelings, mmm, and the Action, I feel like this person's holding their love back so that they can start over. Like they actually have feelings for you, but they are holding back. This is somebody that's like, would Pisces be compassionate towards me? Do I open up? Do I start things with them? Their actual feelings, they're trying. It's like up here in their head, they are afraid that they aren't good enough. Or they're afraid that you're going to lead them on. And they're ooh, they're trying to they're trying to hide them feelings from themselves. The blockage is the moon and the king of wands again with this feeling of I'm not going to be good enough and Pisces isn't going to be interested in me. 
why how do you see them <laughs> non-committal you might not even just be interested period you feel like they're a fucking stuffy suit and uh, that they want to keep their fucking freedom. You're guarded when it comes to this person. You don't trust it. You're, you're defending your territory. You're waiting, but you're very suspicious of this person. And if you, if you feel like this person's like you're non-committal, you don't conform, or you don't have the same ideas and values in mind, you, you don't tell the truth, and this person could have... It can be a, a deadbeat dad. I'm just going to put that in there. But it's like they want their cake and eat it too. It's like, no, no. You you want to be single? Then fucking be single. Be independent. That's great. And all for you. But there's this feeling of this person not conforming to fa fatherly duties. And this is somebody that's like, they might have feelings for somebody, but I feel like they're holding back so that they can start over would like to start over with you but still has feelings for somebody else in their thoughts of how they actually feel i'm brave i'm rational it's i think with my head not my heart well that's not emotions that's crap what do they actually want t okay they don't want to be responsible they don't want to put, it's like they're selfish and stubborn and jealousy issues here and they're stuck in the past. What do they want? They want to not be responsible financially because they're fucking lazy and they still have this feeling of somebody from their past. And I feel like you've already called them out and said spades a spade. I'm not dealing with that. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thoughts. Feelings. Action. Regret. Oh yeah, this person majorly regret. They feel like they have basically fucked up. They're disappointed because it, what, it didn't work with somebody else? What a fucking pity. So their their uh, temporary setback for their action, but they're not doing anything. <laughs> Noah. In their mind... They feel like they have lost something that they loved, and now they miss the happiness. Tough shit. <laughs> Blockage is not learning a lesson. This is somebody that you never know what to expect from them. They're a fucking slacker, and they're constantly pushing. Pushing for what, Source? And then we take that reverse because we're asking for blockage. They're pushing for material things. They're never they're never happy. They don't know how to love. They overindulge in things. They're not stable, but they're all about screwing. You can't trust this person to save your ass. And they lie. It's like they send these messages that are way out there. And, uh -uh. and they're not, poor me. Nothing's ever working out for me. Well, tough shit. But this is somebody that definitely regrets. They feel like you have had enough and you are completely just done with them. It's like you're leaving. You're taking the action of walking away with them because they they made you not trust them. So they feel like they aren't trustable. They fucking bonehead. That's what that is. Cut of the deck. Not only are you guarded, but you're like, piss off, betrayal, asshole. You're full of shit. I have cast you out, you calculating little... No. So you're going to walk away from that. It's like, you're going to be cautious. All right. Shake it off. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, boy. So I have the secret. Mm -hmm. Why the Knight of Pentacles... They're full of shit. This is somebody that wants to take action and say, y you're the one for me. And But they're cautious. They don't commit. They just take itty bitty steps. This is somebody that cares too much about what other people think. This is somebody that is defensive. 
not competent. They don't know what the hell. And the communication. Ooh, shitty. One more for thoughts. They think that you don't want to talk to them. They think that, they, you know, that they're better off fucking alone. Fucking others while they're alone. And they feel like you have cut them out. They might have an apology. It's still like they have feelings for you. But their actions, not good. How do you see them? Argumentative asshole. You're just like, I. you need to keep keep moving. I don't want to talk to you anymore. You've caused the end of this connection. I do not trust you at all. It's just like any feelings that I did have, we are broken up. Why are you here? Why are you here? You put me in a third party? No. You like threesomes or whatever the fuck it is. It's like, I'm not into it. I'm rejecting any offer that, no, I'm moving on. I'm staying away from your conflict. I'm avoiding it. I am like taking a detour. This is not a connection that you feel like was ever going anywhere. Didn't have the same values, but this person all up in their head, I guess I'm just alone. Well, then fucking be alone. You wanted your fucking independence? Have it. We can't trust you anyway. And there's too much secrets. What? They're so mysterious. They don't know what to, to make of you or your emotions either. So this is kind of like, I deny having any emotions at all. Well, horse shit. They feel like you have cut them out and they're not happy. But I love you. No, no, I don't. They know that they have gotten busted and they're tiptoeing. They're being very, very cautious, but they're lying. And you're saying, I'm, I'm done, 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 done. <laughs> No, ah, I gotta love autism. Everything's funny. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <laughs> He's got better drugs than all of us. Okay, it's true. He really does. <laughs> he does have an infectious laugh, though. This person feels like you're leading them on. They feel like you're kind of just leaving them hanging, waiting waiting so this person in their mind they feel like you're an attention hole their actual feelings they feel like you're never going to give them an opportunity and this is somebody that still wants to bring it up so why aren't you interested because you don't feel like they're going to give you what you want you feel like they might be selfish and they're full of drama this is like no team spirit here for me at all you feel like they have other options and you don't trust it. You feel like it's like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. I'm giving up on this. You're going in the wrong direction there, bonehead. You're a candy ass. And I'm not open to this. You're, you're just not interested at all. This person's like, but, 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 no, but, but, but. They're still going to try to get you in a connection. And it's like you're saying... I'm not interested, I'm not interested, I'm not interested, I've got other things that I'm tempted by, and you're not it. You're, when it comes to this person, you're kind of spiteful, <laughs> I will say, but it's just like, you, you don't, you don't have any interest here, and it's kind of irritating you. You're denying them any opportunity. You're saying, I'm not going to be vulnerable at all. Give up. Give up. I will fight you. I don't want this. Take your coin and shove it. So, yeah, they're, they're right. I don't feel like you're actually leading this person on. But they're waiting, waiting, waiting for you to change your mind and go this way. And you're kind of going, I'm, I'm not. They know in their head that you're not interested. They might also be afraid of confronting you, and so they're waiting until they might have pissed you off, and they're waiting for you to cool down mentally. But let me tell you, this is somebody that knows that you are not interested in any bullshit, any conflict at all, and they're still going to try. I'm going to bring this up, and we're going to be happy, and come on, really? You won't give me a ch No, I'm not interested. I've got other things to play with and you're not it. I'm not, I don't want, take your coin away. This can be the, I mean, you're really putting your foot down and you, you're just like, no. 
This is not something that you, you just feel like this person is a fake and not offering what you're looking for. So you got somebody that's got a heart on for you and you're not interested in them. Sucks to be them, I guess, but they just don't want to give up. So we have Pisces Cancer. A lot of confusion there. What do you got? All right. Nobody had much um, really good energy today, I gotta say. Lies, bullshit, deception. No. Pisces, Cancer, Virgo, Gemini, Leo, 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 Leo again, Aries, heavily. Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Wave. Whoever is bugging the shit out of you for an opportunity, it just feels like there also could be an age difference with that person and you're just really going to have to step on them and say no and mean it. It's like, I'm, I'm serious. Please stop talking to me. It's like you have to be head over, head over heart when it comes to that person. It's like, I don't want to hurt you, but you know, it seems like it's inevitable that I'm going to just like crush you because you won't stop. You won't leave me alone. You guys are irritated by somebody. All right, that's what we have. Many blessings. Thanks for watching, and we shall see you next time.